Hello all rhythm game enthusiasts. So if you've just bought a Step Maniacs all-in-one machine or Deddy Cab, you're probably wondering, can I play traditional four-panel DDR ITG on this thing? Well, the answer is yes, easily. All you got to do is buy a few cables and you'll be ready to go. In this video, I'll show you the things you got to do to hook up a computer to your cab. Oh, hey, look, there's a script I'm reading from. Say hi, script. All right. And so with that, uh, I'll put the links for everything you need in the description box down below and uh, let's just jump into it. Alright, so first things first, you can't add custom songs to Step Maniacs right now and there's no way to play SMX officials via Step Mania or OpenITG at the moment. I know it's a bummer, but I promise there's not too much trouble to switch between the two if you've got a good setup. What you need to know about the cab is that the power cable down here, this one, powers uh, three things. The pads, the monitor, and the CPU that runs the game. Uh, I don't think there's a way to mod the built-in computer to run normal Step Mania, so you'll have to get a laptop or a dedicated PC to run that for you. I got this bad boy for uh, $285 from Walmart, and uh, even though I've had to buy uh, a uh, new hard drive for it. Uh, it's still a lot cheaper than the uh, pads themselves. So, but if you're already broke um, from you know doling out money for this big old thing, then uh, uh, any laptop with two USB ports and an HDMI output should be fine. The cables you'll need for the setup is a uh, one HDMI mail to mail, uh, two USB. Uh, male to females and one audio male to female Now all of these cables should be bi-directional um, But if they're not all the male ends go into your computer uh, the pads are obviously uh, inputs and the speakers and the monitor are the outputs uh, the easiest one is this HDMI cable uh, which you plug into your graphics card or your output on your laptop uh, and it goes directly into this HDMI port uh, on the back of the monitor that you hooked up when uh, you set up your original cab. Um, I got a splitter uh, so that I can easily transition uh, back and forth from Step Maniacs to Step Mania or on the desktop uh, but this is obviously uh, optional uh, but it makes it easier to just push a button to switch back and forth. Next thing you want to do is open up the uh, central compartment which may look different if you have a fourth generation cab or the, the Deddy cab um, but either way you'll probably see the uh, power adapter and the dedicated SMX computer box. Connected to this box will be the audio output, uh, the touch screen, the front facing USBs down here um, the uh, two pads, uh, the HDMI, and the power. So when playing from your computer, you probably want to unplug the uh, power cable because you don't want this box to be on uh, when you're playing Set Mania. Um, and then all you got to do is unplug these two USBs, which are for the uh, the pads and then plug them into uh, your extension cables that you took from your computer and plugged into this box. This is kind of hard to do one-handed, but uh, you get the point. Um, now I actually drew, drilled a hole into my <laughs> cabinet so that I could get these cables in here without you know just sticking them through this thing. And uh, would I suggest you to do that? Uh, short answer, no. Uh, long answer, no. 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 Mm -mm. Nope. No, don't do that. One, because it's super dangerous, and two, because it's really not that much work to just plug the USBs up in here. You'll also notice that I got a audio splitter. Uh, two male uh, to one female, uh, so that that way uh, this dial could control the volume for both uh, my computer's input volume 
and for the Step Maniacs cabs uh, input volume. Uh, not really necessary, you can just flip the cord between the two. Um, but either way, take your audio extension cord uh, and plug it right into uh, this thing. And uh, your output from your computer should come through the speaker in the front. And the these guys over on the side of the cab. And with all that, you're uh, you're ready for action. That's pretty much all you got to do uh, to get uh, Step Mania working on a Dedi Cab. Uh, the one thing I would suggest, uh, in addition to this, is this little set of buttons. Uh, you'll want something for menuing uh, because it's pretty easy to you know hit the arrows left and right uh, for selecting the song and up and down for selecting difficulty but you don't want this center button uh, to be for selecting a song uh, because you're going to be hitting that a lot and uh, even you can unscrew uh, these corner panels and move the center button there uh, but you're going to want a dedicated button for starting and exiting um, so that that way you're not accidentally hitting that in the middle of a triple A or a quad star uh, so I got an Elgato uh, Stream Deck. It's a little bit pricey at $100, um, but uh, there's other options out there, and it's honestly totally worth it if you want uh, something that makes it a much better user experience um, that you know ties directly into your computer and pretty easy to use. And that's all I've got for today. I'll make a, another video for if you specifically want to stream uh, from your cab and another one comparing uh, the Step Maniacs charts and their originals from uh, from In the Groove and In the Groove 2. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, happy Step Maniacsing.